Hey, South Rock, it is Tuesday morning, and we're continuing it in our study of the book of Acts. We're in chapter 27. You know, missionary trips can seem very adventurous and full of victories. They seem really exciting, but honestly, a lot of it is just filled with travel. And our section here in verses 1 through 12 of chapter 27 today is a travel time. I remember the first time I took a trip to Cambodia being very eye-opening, very rewarding, but much of it was travel. We traveled about 44 hours by plane. We traveled six hours by boat, and it wasn't a nice boat at all. We got stuck about 21 times. We traveled also about 10 hours by bus, two hours by tuk-tuk, 30 minutes by elephant, and that's pretty much the glamorous part of a mission trip. And for the most part, our scripture today is the travel part of the journey. Paul was on a journey accompanied by Luke and some others, including prisoners, and guarded by a centurion named Julius. And after the first leg of their trip, they stopped in at a port, and the Bible says Julius, in kindness to Paul, allowed him to go to his friends so they might provide for his needs. Now, Julius was a hardened centurion. He was a tough man, and he was assigned to watch Paul, and so he was with Paul at all times. But he had developed this respect for Paul, and so he had given Paul some certain freedoms, and he later spared his life. Well, they continued on with their travel and ran up against one problem after another and eventually had to make a decision whether they were going to go on at that point. And the Bible says Paul warned them, Men, I can see that our voyage is going to be disastrous and bring great loss to ship and cargo and even to our own lives. But the centurion and the majority decided not to listen to Paul. Instead, they listened to the pilot of the ship and the owner of the ship who didn't want to stay in that port for the winter. And so they took a chance. Now, travel by sea is doubtful in September, and it was impossible by November, and this was October. And so they sailed into a storm and took a chance. And you know what happened? We're going to have to find out tomorrow morning when you check in again for the next devotion. Have a great week.